Welcome to MindFusion JavaScript Diagram Tutorial. Here we'll demonstrate how easy it is to implement basic diagramming features in a web application using MindFusion Diagram Library for JavaScript. We'll create an HTML page that allows users to create, edit, save and load diagrams from the local storage. We start with an empty web project. Let's name it Sample.js Diagram. First, we need a new folder where we'll copy the required JS libraries. We copy them from another project. Next, we'll need two MindFusion JavaScript libraries. We add them to the root of the project. Let's create an empty HTML page. We change the title. We add a reference to the JavaScript libraries we've created. Then we add a canvas. This canvas will hold the node list control that we'll use to provide the end user with some sample node shapes they can drag onto the diagram's working area. We add another canvas, this time for the diagram to draw itself onto. We'll need two buttons, save and load with the respective click event handlers. Finally, let's add a reference to the MindFusion JavaScript libraries we've added. Next, we need a JavaScript code behind file. We reference it from the HTML page. In the JS file, we add two aliases for MindFusion Diagram and Glass Effect classes. We also declare a global variable diagram. We use the document ready function to bind the diagram object to the canvas we've already declared. We add a glass effect to the diagram. We also bind the node list canvas to a node list view object of the MindFusion library. We use a method where we define the node shapes that will appear in the node list view. Here comes the question, how we identify the node shapes. MindFusion JS library has more than 100 predefined shapes which you can reference by their name. How do you get the name? The shapes are listed in the API reference, but here we'll use an online sample accessible through MindFusion website to identify the desired shapes. Arrow, database, document, file and dick storage. Now let's see in the browser what we've done so far. Wow, with a few lines of code we have a working diagram app that allows users to drag and drop diagram shapes and draw connectors among them. Now, we want to be able to save and load the diagram, but it would also be great to allow the user to edit the text that's inside a shape. We do that by setting the set allow in place edit property. When set to true, text can be written inside a diagram node.
Let's implement diagram save. We'll use local storage for that. The code is the standard way to access the local storage. Just to be sure, we check if the local storage exists in a separate method. We try to write a dummy object and read it back, then we delete it. Loading is no different. We use the standard code for loading data in a browser from the local storage. Let's test what we've done. We create a simple flowchart. Edit its text. Save. Delete some shapes and load. Voila! The diagram is back. So that was the end of this tutorial. Thank you for watching and thank you for your interest in MindFusion developer tools.